Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR. Today in the SpaceX news update, there's not much to talk about, but we're still going to talk about it. The S11, what Elon Musk has been tweeting, more news coming from the FAA, all that good, juicy stuff. So if you want to know everything, be sure to stick through the whole episode. Drop a like on the video so you stay on the space side of the YouTube algorithm. But let's just get right into this. So the SN11, Elon Musk is tweeting that the SN11 is almost ready to fly, which is kind of weird because we've yet to even see the successful static fire test. That recent static fire that we saw, it wasn't a full static fire test, which was on March 15th. It wasn't a full static fire test. The engines were not working properly, but there have been no actual concrete evidence or updates as to what needs to be fixed and what's going on. So if you look on Cameron County's website, there's still no closures coming up. The last one was on March 15th. There's been no updates or anything regarding when another static fire test could be happening. And again, no one really seems to know the exact reason. There's a lot of rumors and speculation, but there is no concrete evidence. However, if we go on the FAA's TFR website and we look in that Texas area, SpaceX has clearance for this coming March 19th and March 20th for airspace. And so with that being said, the SN11, I'm assuming that SpaceX wants to do a static fire in the next two days in order to meet the requirements to fly, obviously, before this weekend. Again, with these um, road closures and beach closures that they're doing, though, they have been giving it to the locals pretty much the day before. They've been they've been announcing that they're going to be closed. And so... Will we see anything like that happening today? No, we're not going to see any closures, no testing. Tomorrow, though, it's very possible that this evening locals will get a notice saying that tomorrow things are going to be closed. That is very likely to happen, and so we're definitely going to be keeping a close eye on that. SpaceX released this video recently of their Starship SN10 successfully, quote-unquote successfully, launching and landing. And in their video, I can't play it because it's just not going to do justice for you guys, but in the video, it goes over how... The Starship, the SN10, successfully launched. It hovered and then did the belly flop maneuver, came back down to Earth, and then flipped back to go vertical, and it it landed. It wasn't the best landing, but it landed. If you were on that Starship, as long as you got off of it before the eight minute before it exploded, you would have been fine. And a lot of people are just trying to roast SpaceX right now because the video only showcases the good stuff. It doesn't talk about how it crushed the landing leg or how it exploded afterwards. And everybody in the comments, everybody's a keyboard hero and has to talk about how it wasn't successful because it blew up and this and that. And you know you know the people that are hating on this are literally the people whose like biggest accomplishment was probably getting a participation trophy back in like elementary school. It's just sad to see. In my opinion, I think it was a huge success, the fact that it didn't explode um, on its way down, touching the launch pad. It actually exploded afterwards. So at least, you know, you have that eight minutes to get off the Starship at this point. We know that. So if you were on that, you know, it's sort of like imagine when you're flying and you get off a plane, everybody's rushing to get off. It's still like that. You know what I mean? Their system, it's no different than taking a plane ride, in my opinion. Uh, (laughs) They still have a lot to fix, obviously. I was just kind of grinding my gears that people are so negative about the thing. Like, of course, they don't have it perfect. But speaking, though, of that video, so Everyday Astronaut was saying how he couldn't believe that it was real, how crisp that photo was, uh, the video was, I'm sorry, and how it, it literally looked like CGI. And it really does. The video, it's it's incredible how just this giant thing landing on this pad. It's, it's really cool. But someone went... To say that full stack flight in July, Rob Dickinson, a full stack flight would have been with a super heavy booster and also going into orbit, which they've done neither so far. And he's saying they want to do this in July. And Elon Musk is saying that is their goal. They That super heavy booster that is being built, as we all see right now, it, it's March right now. So you have until April, May and June. You have three full months and then some of the rest of March and whatever time in July they want to work on it. So you have about four months until we can possibly see the Starship with a super heavy booster go into orbit. Four months away, guys. Just think four months ago, they couldn't even land the SN8. And now in another four months, they're going to be putting this into orbit. As long as things go well. And I, I truly think that they will. So far, SpaceX has had their hiccups, but they've gone really well in the most part. 
but when you think about the type of testing involved and all the different variables that go into launching a gigantic Starship rocket and then landing it, things have gone pretty well besides with the FAA. But regarding the FAA, so Christian Davenport had tweeted that from the FAA, they found no public safety concerns in the SN10 uh, explosions. And because of that, that's going to make things a lot more smoother for SpaceX. They're not going to have to go through that inspection like they did with the SN9. And so because of that, they have the clearance for the SN11 and they can fly it just the same way they did with the SN10. So that's a big um, obstacle that is no longer in the way of SpaceX, which is great to see. Oh, and finally, the coolest, I think, story from this is Big Boat Driver on Twitter tweeted a photo of the progress of the Phobos launch you know the oil rig the launch pad they want to do look at this they are currently working on the phobos launch station for spacex and they've been removing stuff is all they've really been doing there's no additions yet it's all just removing but just to give you guys a you know an actual idea of what this looks like we have some sort of evidence <laughs> there it is right now from spacex their phobos launch pad if you guys don't know what that is essentially this will be on the ocean they're going to have starships launch from these facilities so that way they don't have to have residents clear the area as much like they do right now it'll be out where there's nobody to get hurt it's its own launch pad out in the ocean off the coast of the united states and they want to put them all over the world as long as you know governments and regulations allow for them to be in those certain areas that is the long-term goal is to have these pads be the way that they launch in the outer space and not have to do it in a heavy a populated area and not have to disturb people who live there let me know if you're excited for this thing coming up in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think about what they're going to do, um, the theories and, and whatnot like that. That's all I have for you guys in this episode. So be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And be sure to have a good one.